What's up, Northwest Squad? Lisa Davies here today, and we are at the shores of Lake Ponderé at City Beach in downtown Sandpoint, Idaho, at the premier waterfront dining experience that was inspired by Southern Creole cuisine. Owner Justin Dick takes us behind the scenes to show us the holy trinity of his authentic gumbo, etoile, and jambalaya. So what exactly is the holy trinity of Southern cuisine? Let's go in and find out. You know, real estate, we have a saying, location, location, location. I always knew you can't beat this, this shot right here. This is perfect. So tell me how was Trinity named and what are the three secrets? Yeah, so what is the Holy Trinity, the Justin? The Holy Trinity in Creole <laughs> cooking is bell peppers, onions, and celery. They're basically mm. the base of every dish that you do from the jambalayas to the etouffees. Uh, to our corn and crawfish chowder. Uh, that is the mirepoix, that is the prep that we take care of uh, before we start any dish of mm. ingredients. First chef had studied under Paul Pardome. Wow. Uh, and that's where we get a lot of our uh, Southern inspired Creole flair. Yeah. For a lot of our dishes. And another thing that I love about Trinity is they have an epic bar. Big flat screen TV monitor. I don't know how much alcohol is back there, but it is. It's screaming. <laughs> I think I, I think you, you fill the whole wall. The signature cocktail that you would recommend to our viewers is the what? Bacon Bloody Mary. Bacon oh. Bloody Mary. Okay. Well, we use so our, our own mix. Uh, we create our own mix uh, for our Bloody Mary mix. We use bacon vodka. Um, and then one thing we're really known for is our seasoned bacon. Right. Well, my mouth is watering. So let's get back into the kitchen and see where all the magic happens. Okay, Justin. So let's see what we're doing today. What are you making? We're making our, our most classic dish from 2001 is our pulled pork enchilada. So Ooh. you can't see in here though, we've rolled up in these flour tortillas our house smoked pork, fontina cheese, and a little bit of green onion. The last part is our homemade mole. Ooh, so you make it. So we're not gonna we're not gonna get the recipe. I'm guessing. Uh, you know, I don't mind giving a <laughs> recipe. You can make it in five gallon batches. You're more than welcome. Uh, and it has chocolate in here. Chocolate, bananas, lots of spices, and it is a labor of love. We make it several times a week here. Right. We have the same person make it over and over and over. Ah. Let so get that consistent. That's called job security. It is a little bit. Of job security. <laughs> We're gonna take our enchiladas that we've rolled up. We're gonna get a pan going right now. We wanna get this pan nice and hot. And we're gonna hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. We're gonna let that heat up a little bit. Excellent. Get it nice and hot because we wanna get these nice and crisped up before they go into the oven. So, so it has a nice crunch. Absolutely. So we're gonna roll these around. So once we get these with a nice crisp, we're going to move them over to the oven. And okay. We'll let them sit there for about 10 minutes and we'll pull them back up. We'll put the dish together. Ooh, I'm excited. All right. Sure. Okay, so we've got it all we're just crisp up. out of the oven. I'm going to let my executive chef, Bob Burkett, come over and put okay. this together. He, he knows the kitchen backwards and forwards. Yeah. We've been working together since he was 16 years old, I think. Uh, <laughs> and we have a small cafe up on oh, First Street. Oh, really? Okay. So I'll get it on the way. I'll let Bob and, uh, put it all together and I'll kind of talk you through it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's see how this uh, comes together. Man, these smells are just amazing. Bob just pulled these out of the oven so you can see that nice crisp in there. He's also going to end up cutting them on a bias, so we should be able to see the cheese rice and melted in there. So that fontina cheese really melts up nicely. Bob's going to ladle out some of our, uh, our mole over the top of it and get the entire plate coated. Ooh, yeah. So Bob's going to put on the cilantro and creme fraiche. A little artistic work. Absolutely. So we'll plate them on top. We try to get as much height as we can without uh, knocking them off before we get there. Oh, okay. So that's the extra ingredient is the lime at the end. Yep, lime finishes that off. One of the finishing parts, we've got this a looks... tortilla salsa that we've been using since back in 2001, 2002. Top it off with the jicama cilantro. Is that not gorgeous, big and bold? I love that. And the smells are just incredible. And so this is probably oh, one of yeah. the dishes that we've been doing that we still serve today. And we probably sell that is more gorgeous. of these than we sell of anything else. Yep, actually it's my favorite. It is. It's oh. one of my favorites. Ah, okay, good. Beautiful. Well, let's and I bet so we can eat. Okay, that sounds good. 
Ooh, look at that, Justin. And here are your pulled pork enchiladas, Lisa. Awesome, and look at that jicama slaw. That looks gorgeous. Hey, thanks for being on Living the Northwest. Really appreciate it, Justin. Thank you for doing this with us. We appreciate it. Enjoy your afternoon. Oh, Enjoy absolutely. Will Thank do. You. Thank you. Okay, guys, I am so excited to dive into this. Look at the presentation. It's beautiful, big, colorful. So I'm just going to dive into it, and um, I'll let you know how it goes. This dish is so amazing with all the layers, the bold flavor, the slaw, and that kick of lime is just to die for. If you haven't had the pulled pork enchiladas at Trinity, this is a must do. Hey, Northwest Squad, thank you so much for joining me as we sat down with owner Justin Dick here at Trinity. If you're visiting Sandpoint, this is one place you will not regret trying. Let us know in the comments below if you stopped by Trinity and what your favorite dish is. Have you tried the pulled pork enchiladas? If you enjoyed learning about one of our local gyms and how wonderful our community is, hit that subscribe button and join the Northwest Squad and stay up to date on all the insider information of North Idaho. My name is Lisa Davies and these are a few of my favorite things.